Okay, this is the hundredth time that I'm recording this video. Continuing uh, from the last video that I uploaded on how to do a, a 5M video, so on and so forth. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, because I don't think it's necessary for me to do all that. Why, you may ask? Because, I mean, it's all self-explanatory. Everything is in the description of that video for you guys to see. And all you have to do you know is read the readme for each script that is attached and you'll be fine it's that simple you know what they do what they what they use for so on and so forth what i'm gonna do though is try to speak to you guys on server creation you know when you're making a server what to look forward to so on and so forth you know what i'm saying so like when well, you might ask like what do i mean by that like all right first let me just let me just let, let's just go back a bit welcome to the video welcome to another video glad to have you here so on and so forth all right with all that said <laughs> i can't believe i didn't try to make an introduction before but it's all right with all that said let's just get let's just get into it yeah here's what we're gonna do when creating a i'm just gonna give you guys a guide on how to better prepare yourself when creating a, a 5m server or qb core server first things first creating a server for public use meaning that the server you want the server to be populated you want the server to have you know a community you're trying to build a community of people that plays in your server firstly have a plan well, what should the plan consist of you might ask okay what kind of server is it going to be if is it going to be a serious rp server is it going to be a 100k or die server is it going to be one of those uh, random ass uh v menu servers which i call it, i find completely stupid but yeah moving on you know i specialize in serious role play server so i'm just gonna stick with that i'm just gonna speak on that the rest i don't care for nor do i build these servers i never did i don't think i ever will but yeah going forward like if you're doing a serious RP server, all right, ask yourself what kind of economy do you want in the server? What kind of, you know, what kind of economy are you going to do it? What kind of scripts you want in the server? You know, what are you leading most to? What are you leaning most towards? Like, how serious do you want it? Because you, we already established that we we're making a serious RP server, all right? So how hardcore do we want it? You know what I'm saying? how much of how, how how are you gonna do your engagement in terms of player engagements and how they engage each other in the server you know what i'm saying so like let's let's go to the economy let's start with the economy i think i think i tried explaining this in the previous video so like if if you're going like one-to-one -one with realistic i try to be close to irl with the prices for items and such V from from everything from a vehicle all the way down to a gumball, you know, a snack or something, you know, a couple of dollars, a couple of cents here or there, you know, that that's what you're going for. You're gonna wanna like make sure the price is alright for the cops. Make sure the price is alright. So the the first the first jobs the first job that you will tackle in terms of pay, you will set up like the white listed jobs that's what you'll tackle in terms of pay for like so you will do the white list like for ems police and mechanic if you choose to make mechanic a white listed job nowadays it kind of it's not always you see a mechanic as a white listed job but yeah all right so moving on you know like work okay so do they get paid like every hour irl or every 30 minutes if so how much are they getting paid because if they get paid like five hundred dollars an hour or like every 30 minutes then it's like a thousand dollars an hour and then you do the math if your player be if your if if your player base average in game th in game time is like five hours a day then you work the math out for that you know what i'm saying so you work the math out for that so if it's like a thousand dollars every five that's five thousand dollars every five hours and it's uh five hours so it's like twenty five thousand a week like from monday to friday irl so you you basically you just do the math to where it makes sense you know what i'm saying so you probably you probably seen that but that's a little bit of money not necessarily it all depends as i said it's how you balance the economy 
for instance, if you if you were to say you have a car dealership. Yeah, every, we all know everyone loves cars in GTA for some weird reason. I get that the, the damn game is called Grand Theft Auto, but still, we are all role playing here, and I will get to that soon. I'll, I'll get to that in a, in a few minutes. But hear me out. If you give people a lot of money in the game, then there's no point for them to play their roles, and there's no point for them to like, you know, as a car. There's no point unless they are truly into it. Which a lot of pe some people are not a lot. Some people just want the cash, and then it, there's no more fun having it. It becomes real boring real fast when there's nothing to do, as in there's nothing for them to work towards. So like, if you if someone is making a hundred k and a car is like thirty thousand, they're just gonna buy maybe three cars because that's your main goal. That's a lot of that's that's a that's a goal for a lot of people that play GTA. I will yeah that's a goal for a lot of people that play gta for some oddly weird reason i do not understand when we're all supposed to be role playing but i digress so if you were to do that then there's no point there's no fun you're rich there's you there's no need for you to be trying your hardest in a role play environment because a lot of people take things personal in the game for some weird reason again i do not understand why so if if it were to be like 25 so if we set it so that they make like 25k a week and this is a whitelisted job yeah and a car the cheapest car is probably around 30k instead of you having your community buying the car outright because the point is you owning a server your the point is that you need to provide entertainment for the people in your server yes and also you need to they, you need to build a server so that people stay and spend most of their time playing in your server. So, if something is the cheapest guy is 30k, just an example, and the maximum amount, a white, a whitelist job should pay the most. That should pay the most throughout the entire server. So, the, the, the police, which is a whitelist job, being 25k a week. Yep. And then we were like, okay, he has his 25k. He needs a, his, he needs his personal vehicle. But the key, the car is 30k. Yeah, he could borrow the money and and pay for it outright, or he could finance the car for a, you know extra 20%. You know what I'm saying? So it's another like uh, maybe 10, 20k. Uh, I'm not good at math, but yeah. So then he'll he'll be paying more, so he'll have to work more. You know, and if he misses payments, then the car will get repossessed. So you see what I'm saying, like. It's not that they can't get it, you're just making it that they have to do more, but not a lot, still. So this will in turn keep them in the game more, and in order for them to make more money, they'll have to do the jobs that they, they chose, per se. You know what I'm saying? So if, if that's the issue, is either they work more, or they start to do other illegal activities to get more money, which potentially put them in a position where... where they can be caught by the law, go to jail, still get a fine, pay a lot of money, and somewhat start halfway to where they were. And so they have to do it all over again. So the point is you need to create replayability in your server and you need to keep people engaged. And you need to like, whenever people reach a milestone of like, they own in a vehicle or a house, they need to remember that I know that, yo, I did this, I'm finally here what's next because once they once they work hard for this thing in game and they finally finally accomplish it they'll feel a sense of accomplishment this is why video when when people are making video games they they add certain milestones that you probably don't see or you probably don't recognize but at the end of the day you feel it and you understand what is going on because you did a lot you you, you fight this you fight a whole horde of people and then you finally beat the boss and you get this rare item so on and so forth it's the same thing with role play so once once you understand this concept of how to you know better balance balance your 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 server in terms of income in terms of accessibility you know what i'm saying because you don't want things to be easy if it's easy no one is going to stay around for too long and you don't want that your server will fail yep so now that we kind of understand the idea of how that works let's move on next role playing how do you get the best role players in your server you'll have servers out there that you'll hear people say oh 
I can't be bothered with getting whitelisted. That is a waste of time. The thing is, it's not because this will separate the wolves from the sheep. You know what I'm saying? This will separate the non-creative from the creative. And you need creative people in your server. If you're going for a serious roleplay server. People who knows how how and when to say the right thing. Or how to create a story. And how to, to recognize what other people are doing. And play along with it. This is why there's a lot of successful whitelisted servers. And there's not a lot of successful unwhitelisted servers. Because it's already established where there's more role players in a city than there's more people who worry about the type of cars that they have the type of clothes that they're wearing and all that random nonsense which does not do anything for role play example you'll have someone come in a server and say oh where are your cars where are your the the the, the branded cars and such if you don't have any they'll leave why is that important the whole point of a 5m was to create roleplay servers that's what it was that's the original intent from day one you know if you if you played if you if you role played from vice city days yeah it's been around for a minute from vice city days you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying so like you want to get rid of these people who are not so bright and not so creative and people who have thin skin emotional people so this is where the white listing come in it helps but not all the time you know, some of these people they will pass a white list but they'll still be emotional they'll still take things personally when it comes to role playing you know what i'm saying so like these are things that you will outline in your in your rules like don't take like you you, you you need to emphasize on people like taking things personally where if someone were to say something especially females Hey, I've come across some females that are that are cool with certain things and they'll know that yo this is a game but some people that take things personal in in the game like if if a situation calls for you to call a, a girl the B word and then you say it because it makes sense in the context then the person will yeah go OC and like who you calling this and who you like you know ruins the role play ruin the scene and you don't want that don't be sims because there's a female in this in your server don't don't do that you got to be fair to everyone as an owner keep that in mind you know what i'm saying so this is where the white listing come in you ask certain questions and you like you provide a scenario like okay a cop a cop pull you over at a traffic spot you know in a traffic stop such and such how do you get yourself out of it you know based on their creativity that they because there's no wrong or right answer well it kind of is a wrong answer but you're looking for the creativity in their response you know what i'm saying so this is where the white listing comes in where you you gauge this is why people have white list on certain servers because they're gauging the person's create creativity level and if you don't have that you'll get all type of random people and if you have someone that is really good at role playing and then there's this random person who doesn't know what the hell he's doing you know i think that he's in the right or i think that he's not supposed to put his hands up if a cop pulls a gun on him or something like that like and then when he gets gunned down he's gonna complain and then cry to the admins and so on and so forth these are the people that kills are kills role play they, they kill the server real fast because when the people that are actually good at it can't get to express themselves i can't, I can't, can't get to create content that's where the problem comes in right I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. Next on the list is um I don't know why I kind of skipped over. I, I I felt like I had to talk about that after I mentioned the whole economy thing, but it's kind of back to the same. It's not. It, all right, let's just go. So a scene where, for instance, you have like someone would be doing a job or they have a lot of items, and then they'll say, "Oh, my storages are too small. I need more storage. Can you increase the storage?" No, you cannot. I'm not saying that you cannot you shouldn't convenience you don't the point is you don't want to make things convenient for your player base what do you mean by that because some convenience is good all right if someone comes to you and say okay my my apartment is full you know can it, like i don't like the apartment spaces can i get more storage why don't all you have to say okay why don't you go and buy yourself a warehouse 
or better yet go buy yourself one of those boxville trucks to put your items in because those will hold ho they, they have more storages than average realistically apartment uh, an apartment does not have a lot of storage room a warehouse does you can have a you can have a warehouse a truck does depending on the truck size yep and they'll be like oh my car doesn't hold this amount it's a car it's not gonna hold a whole lot of shit in the car you know what i'm saying so if you want so like set up warehouses set up lockers so the point is to keep them spending money in order to have more shit so the more they spend the more they have to go out and get more money to accomplish whatever goal that they have set out the type of people who have a problem with this is the type of people who who do who do not understand the value of role playing or do not understand what it's you know the t understand that the more time you put into something the better it will be as in like you'll have people out there that don't want to be rich they don't want a handout in the city they, they just want to grind they just want to go and do things how it's supposed to be done because they know the more time they spend the more enjoyability they will get out of it you know what i'm saying so like as a owner as a, a a owner of a server or you're creating a server these are the things that you want to keep in mind when making a server when you're going forward in making a server you understand what i'm saying so like if you have these if you have these set out already you will be fine now it comes down the last thing that i want to mention is the cost and i think i'll go with the cheapest the cheapest available cost i would say the cheapest cost i would say when it comes to running or, or you know operating a server let's break it down so if you if you spend I will link this in the description though because this is the the hosting that i will i suggest to a lot of people i suggest this to all my clients because it it will give you that buffer zone especially in like for the first month where you don't have to spend like any money on the hosting so the first month will be like free for your first 30 days so yeah you can you know use this link that is in the description for Comatera hosting It'll be in the description 30 days free if you keep if you keep the cost under a hundred dollars it will be 30 days free under a hundred dollars and then afterwards if it's 98 dollars that your bill is that's what you're gonna pay for the coming the next 30 days all right but with all the freeness let's say the the, the hosting is like a hundred dollars oh and before so zap hosting what's the other one called rocket node any of those cheap uh hosting will not you're gonna waste your time and you're gonna waste money on that do not use it don't ever use them if you see a lot you, i'm pretty sure you've seen where like creators like as in devs and script create they'll, they'll promote zap hosting and so on none of these people use those things bro do not use them no big server use those either <laughs> like you're 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 shooting yourself in the leg and it's gonna get festered before and when it's get festered you're gonna lose that leg that's what it's gonna that's what's gonna happen don't use those I'm, I'm like i'm tired of telling you guys because a lot of these scripts when these when when you buy scripts for servers and you look through the readme for these scripts and the, the creators will tell you do not use filezilla to transport do not do this do not do that because there's too much difficulty and at the same time you barely have any control over the server if you use these do not use these please i'm begging you do not use these i don't work on these a lot of a lot of developer devs don't work on these so do it at your own risk can't say i didn't tell you okay moving on so if you were to get yourself a server for like a hundred dollars you know that's a hundred dollars to your monthly bill then you gotta pay for the 5m cfx elements all club which is uh 25 euros maybe 24 dollars 24 usd i'm not sure it's it's either it's somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars but let's roughly say it's 30 dollars i don't think it's 30 dollars well let, let's keep it at 30 dollars the cheapest one that's like a 64 player slot which is fine so that's your first that's 130 dollars a month you have to spend now if you were if you were to go for like i will tell people don't buy scripts like if there's an option to subscribe to like especially maps take for instance gabs a lot of you guys know gabs gabs has 
the best maps out there the best and most optimized maps out there with zero issues unless you do something to cause an issue so if you were to use gabs for like 15 or 20 dollars a month you know what i'm saying you get all his maps plus maps that he cannot buy you know that's like another 20 but if you were to buy these maps they're probably like between 40 to 50 dollars i think i don't remember but it's somewhere around there yeah 40 to 50 dollars per each map so like the, the club the cat cafe the maze bank the banks the 24 7 that all of that 50 dollars you'd have to pay for each of each of these when you could actually get like all these maps and then the thing is that a lot of script creators or a lot of developers for scripts they will make scripts it's like for instance jigsaws he'll make scripts that works with gabs's maps you know what i'm saying so like in and jigsaw scripts are fairly cheap something like 20 30 dollars i think they're i think all of them are like under 30 or under 25 dollars i don't think i've seen any above that he doesn't do subscription but it would be cool if he did but he doesn't do that so you'll have to buy those outright but the thing is that you won't have to be paying like 80 90 dollars for an mlu on a script you know what i'm saying if you sub if you sub to the package and if you have monthly supporters in your server and the only way you can get monthly supporters is one have a good server two offer perks i'm uh, pretty sure there will be cars non-branded cars coming out soon where you can somehow i don't know give as a patreon gifts or something to supporters of your server we'll figure that out when the time comes or do random like drops but not pay to win drops you want to do for example here's an example you wouldn't give you wouldn't give uh you wouldn't give like cocaine fully processed cocaine to someone if they pro if they if they if they uh if they're one of your supporters in some shape or form why you would give them the materials that is required to make a set amount so it's not necessary it's not paid to win if you understand what i'm saying you could or you could give the 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 the, the end product itself but they will still have to sell the end product or they still have to figure out how to gather the materials for the end product yeah you, you get what i'm saying so like you wouldn't make it pay to win you know so for even for you wouldn't give them you, you could have a starter pack for cash but it wouldn't be too much cash if your economy is balanced it would be a good amount of cash where they get a starter car yes and something else but that's something you you'll have to figure it out to make sure that it's balanced and you're not doing a pay to win thing you know what i'm saying and if you want to add like a special car in every month for someone fine do that you know if they it all depends on how you want to balance out your your supporter packages at the end of the day just if it makes sense go with it you know what i'm saying but don't make sure you don't do the pay to win thing pay to win will kill your city in no time promise me i promise that's exactly what's gonna happen all right what was i saying i forgot what, what i was talking about before i come over here to this thing uh yes oh yeah i forgot yeah cost cost of maintaining a server you know what i'm saying so like that's like as i was saying like a hundred and maybe thirty dollars you know that's monthly upkeep if you hire a dev uh let me see the cheapest you can get a well for me you know, would say the cheapest you can get a dev for is like if you're doing a monthly thing maybe it's like four to five hundred a month it all depends but yeah we'll see um i think you can get it for less so you're probably saying that that's way too much money okay yeah you could say so and you're probably right but at the same time do you want a dev that is experience and know what they're doing or do you want someone who just copy and paste shit you see that's the question you want to ask yourself because there's prob there's going to be problems in a server like every day every other day bro you know what i'm saying is that like they're gonna have you're gonna have problems so do you want to fix the problem or do you want a temporary fix do you want to have a dev on call or do you want to pay the dev every for every hour which is probably like 50 dollars an hour you know what i'm saying for to fix whatever that that person probably might have caused you know so like figure find yourself a dev find yourself the right dev find yourself someone that you can trust you know 
and someone that has the best interest of the server as well you know and so let, let's say if you don't get a dev like if you're learning you're watching my videos and you're figuring shit out for yourself then it's no extra cost to you but yeah you're probably looking at like and this is like the cheapest this is like the cheapest to to to, to upkeep a, a server they like other servers out there they're costing like maybe a thousand a thousand dollars and up a thousand dollars and up just to keep that thing afloat so you think about that you know what i'm saying a lot of don't don't just think that you can just come and get in like running a server is easy it's not easy i'm pr i promise you that it's not easy you got a lot of time a lot of effort you got to put into this thing and especially when you're doing it by yourself you know and this is one of the reasons why i don't i'm not doing a server currently because if i'm doing a server i, I would have to have someone that is on my level in terms of creativity thinking what is best for the server so on and so forth you know what i'm saying so like if it's a thing where like okay i i'm i'm off for the day because i tried doing a server before and when i'm the only one that is making the right decisions you know i have i had admins but they're no devs they're no developers they don't know how to do certain things i don't want to fix certain things if it's broken you know what i'm saying so that that's all on me so i'm fixing i'm adding i'm thinking of new ideas of how to push it together you know so is there's so much that one person can do so like if you're doing it you're doing a server as i say you gotta have people that can think that can that can help improve on the server to make sure it's a, it's a you know it's always delivering to the player base and you gotta find people that knows how to separate because you it's not everyone can be in a leadership position or position with power or authority you know what i'm saying so like if you were to like have a team you you got a dev team you, you know you got an admin team you have our moderation team set up like people can't be taking sides in these situations there's a problem you, they have to resolve the issue from the outside looking in not based on feelings not based on simping you know what i'm saying based on the facts that have been presented to you and what is fair so these are all the things if if you can everything that i've mentioned in this video if you can how like get these things together and in place and have it unlocked your server will be successful you know what i'm saying and if you have a team around you, your team must have the same energy that you do your team must be putting in the same amount of time that you you are do, putting in you know they must be putting out they must be reaching out you know the server is done it's ready wanting people the server must be promoting people don't be afraid to say oh this is a whitelisted server no you need the right type of people in your server and i'm not talking to people who do 100k servers v menu i'm not talking to y'all people i'm talking to people who does who does serious rp servers these are the people that i'm talking to you know what i'm saying so like keep that in mind bro and just let it flow keep that in mind let it flow like don't don't let people like stop you from thinking or doing what you want because eventually no server and i can promise you this no server if done right stays empty if your server is done properly it's done okay it you will generate people but you gotta be fair not because like one person comes in or a group of person comes in and making demands you're gonna say yes don't say yes because they want something or because they're the majority in your server no you gotta be fair because everybody else apart from you is doing things for themselves not necessarily not necessarily to benefit the server you know what i'm saying say so, like think about that um uh, i think i'm kind of out of time right here now i think i've been talking I've, I've been ranting and going on for a few but like uh next thing the, probably next video i'll get into it i want to get into like how how is best to like you know choose your scripts going forward so i will look into that for you guys i will give you advice on how to do so the best way to pick your scripts the best way to make sure that you don't waste your money and whatever you're getting will save time and money and be useful because i've seen servers i've seen cfx account with scripts let me see if we can show you one right now i've, I've seen cfx cfx accounts with scripts that are i think this is one let me see if i can show you this thing what is this is this high frequency yeah there's a key master
Hold on. Nah, that's not the one. Let me show you one. That is like... I'm trying to find a server here. Uh, I think it's this one. Yes, yeah, this one. Okay, so like... I don't even know how many is in this thing. But look at this. I wish there, I wish there was a... This is a whole bunch of shit. Even for years now, these have been in here. And a lot of these ain't gonna be used. Because I know. <laughs> I'm glad putting them together. A lot of these ain't gonna be used. A lot of can't, be, can't work with some of the scripts that are there. You know what I'm saying? So like, these are things that you gotta be like... Oh, this is nothing. I've seen another one. This, this ain't that big though. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you will have a lot of scripts and it's like a waste of money. So this is like, sometimes if you can hurt if you can get a get it on like a monthly subscription do so i think it's better that way because it's normally cheaper than to buy the thing outright but in the long run yeah but if you can afford it do so if you if you can't then a monthly subscription you know what i'm saying and if you have the right amount of people in your server then guess what it will pay for itself if you do the server the right way you know what i'm saying but yeah with all that said people I appreciate you you know thanks for all the likes and the subscription that i've been getting recently you know what i'm saying um just you know share the video leave a like continue to leave a like continue to subscribe comment let me hear you guys thoughts let's talk about some shit in the comment section you know let's let's go about it you know i will help you guys when i have the time it's not all the time i can get to reply but i do reply when i can you know what i'm saying so just yeah until then y'all have a good time and I will see y'all in the next video. When that is, I'm not sure. But yeah, peace. Catch y'all later.